Welcome to MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know where we're going to be working on next. If you're not too careful, you just might learn something. Hi there, and welcome to MacGyver's Workshop, where you never know what we're going to be working on next. And if you're not too careful, you just might learn something. So a little while back, uh, I rebuilt the transaxle, or CVT, uh, in this 2011 Jeep Patriot and we've been having a bit of difficulty with it. The original failure mode was the CVT belt had broken. We went ahead and uh, went through it, put a new belt in it, did a complete overhaul. There was only a little over 70,000 miles on this. It, it doesn't get driven much. However, uh, the owner, the good friend of the family, uh, lives in a mountainous area and we figure that that had something to do with the belt failing. So uh, the, otherwise there didn't seem to be anything major wrong other than just the belt broke. So, but it did, you know, do some damage when it did break. Uh, it came down and smacked the valve body and messed it up. So we put a new valve body in it, a new pump, uh, of course, new belt, and a complete overhaul kit, and uh, completely went through the, the transaxle. However, we are still getting the P0777 code, and uh, we are experiencing some uh, hydraulic pressure issues. So. It's really kind of perplexing, so I'm gonna put this out here and uh, go through some of my uh, diagnosis and data and uh, see if maybe some other folks out there can, uh, uh, you know, chime in. And obviously, I'm missing something, um, but uh, essentially, what's happening is is when you first start the car up, when it's cold, it seems to be okay. Pressures appear to be okay, you can drive the car. Um, however, when uh, after a while when the fluid warms up, all the pressures go down and of course at that point then it's gonna throw the P077 code and go into limp mode, which uh, I have to say is uh, really scary <laughs> in this thing because you could be taken off from a you know, a traffic light or pulling out into traffic and this thing will just go ding, drop into limp mode and there's nothing there. Anyway, let's jump in the car and hook the scan tool up and let's see what we got going on. Okay. So what I'm using for my scan tool is the uh, Top Don Phoenix Max. My uh, old Autel finally gave up the ghost and uh, had to kick out for a more uh, modern scan tool. Of course, my uh, Autel was pretty much obsolete. I think the last year vehicle it supported was 2012. <laughs> Now you essentially hook your dongle up here and then we'll fire up the tablet part here and we're going to go into the TCM which is where we're going to be spending most of our time here. And we've got, again, we're clear for codes at the moment. Now we're going to go into the data stream, read our live data. I'm going to do the fluid temperature. I'm going to do our primary pulley pressure and our secondary pulley pressure. And we'll fire up. 
You can see we got secondary pressure, 265, three, three something here on the primary. So we've got we got plenty of pressure here. Of course, our fluid's cold. You can see if I put it in the yeah, 188, 166, and 166, 149. And of course, if we bring the ribs up, yeah, we'll get up in there in the 3, 400 psi. power break it that's where we really see our we should see our pressure spike be up into the four five hundred psi five fifty and that's perfectly normal uh, these things can go up to like eight nine hundred psi on these CVTs because uh, you know, those pulleys have to really grip that belt good. I'm going to go ahead and uh, step outside for a minute and get, uh, get ready to where we can go for a test ride. Let me just stand by for a second. scary as hell right here. Let's go. Let's go. And this is very 
gradually, very gradually, it'll start coming up. I'm full into the throttle. check engine light and uh, I've shut the car off and turned it back on again uh, so that should it would clear the the uh, limp mode or whatever safe mode uh, but looking at these pressures 26 psi 29 psi 196 on the temperature uh, as soon as I put it in gear you know, it's gonna uh, try to take off. It's gonna you know, can't go forward. I'll have to back up. But actually, I power brake it a little bit. Let's see, 33, 36. There, feel that it's slipping. Not good. Now we read our fault codes. DTC P0777. Secondary pressure solenoid stuck on. That is showing me as pending code, but it's there. So Alright, so there you have it. Uh, that is my conundrum at the moment, uh, trying to find out why this is uh, doing that. So uh, any of my uh, friends in the field out here, uh, do you have any uh, suggestions to offer? Uh, I have some uh, ideas myself, um, concerned that maybe the uh, remanufactured pump that I got is uh, there may be an issue with that. Um, you know, I've already uh, air checked all of the uh, hydraulic circuits. Let me get my little sheet here. And uh, I will, uh, I'll paste an image of this so that uh, you can actually see from the, uh, the ATSG manual. Um, I've checked the uh, forward clutch, uh, reverse clutch, um, the uh, you know, TCC, uh, primary pulley, secondary pulley, uh, all these uh, circuits uh, were tight. I mean, uh, I got uh, air on them, and there was no no bleed at all that I could uh, ascertain. So, uh, you know, it's got me uh, got me pretty perplexed. So, um, like I said, if anybody out there, you guys have any uh, any ideas or suggestions? Um, you know, please uh, feel free to uh, post in the comments or, you know, you can reach out to me at, uh, uh, you know, MacGyver's Workshop at gmail.com uh, and, uh, you know, also the website, you know, www.macgyversworkshop.net. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is definitely a conundrum and it's got me... Uh, uh, <laughs> got me kind of beaten down. Usually I don't, uh, the, these issues usually don't get me, but uh, this one has definitely got me uh, uh, kind of over a barrel. So uh, anyhow, uh, thank you for watching and uh, we will see you next time.